Hello. Today we are talking about 50 Art Deco, 1920s decor ideas. I'm in the process of making my home a little bit more Art Deco and coming up with this video was actually super helpful for me. So I hope, I hope you find it helpful too. I don't know, maybe. Before we get started though, I just want to say everything I talk about in this video, if I can find it, I'll list it below in the description box. So feel free to head there to look up any links. And then, um, what else was I going to say? Yeah, I guess that's it. So the first thing I'm going to talk about before I get into the decor ideas is I'm going to talk about the history of Art Deco just a little bit, just so you understand the decor ideas a little more. If you don't know what Art Deco is, Art Deco is the interior design that came about from the 1920s to the 30s. The interior your design is characterized by rich colors, bold geometry, and decadent detail work. It looks luxurious and glamorous, and it also looks futuristic. And in fact, it was regarded as futuristic because of its streamlined forms. There are three main types of Art Deco, zigzag, classic, modern, and streamlined modern. You'll notice Art Deco zigzag is typically vertical and embellished with zigzags, chevrons, and other geometric shapes arranged in a symmetrical pattern to create visual rhythm and harmony. These are some examples that I found, and another very well-known building that is inspired by this is the Chrysler Building in New York. And although I am saying there are three different types of Art Deco, they can all be combined into one. So next time you go out and you're trying to spot some Art Deco, you can look for these three things. The next one is Art Modern, and this is typically horizontal with asymmetrical facades and often with curved edges and corner windows. If you've ever been to Disneyland's California Adventure Park, you will notice at the front entrance that it has this design. And as for exteriors go, I would say that this is the one I most commonly see. And the last one is Streamline Modern, and this is essentially a machine aesthetic focused on mass production, functionality, and efficiency. And these items that you see right here are inspired by that. If you are interested in getting a little more inspired and diving deeper into the 1920s, I highly recommend checking out movies like Metropolis, where you really get to explore an authentic 1920s set that is also very futuristic in my opinion and i think they were going for that as well and of course the great gatsby which is definitely a bit more of art modern mixed with the zigzag and you will notice lots of florals and colors in this and you get to see the rich side of art deco and the poor and if you want a fun adventure, you could also play the game Bioshock, which is entirely Art Deco themed. Now, this is a pretty scary game, but you get to experience external and internal Art Deco spaces along with listening to an amazing 1920s soundtrack. In fact, the only reason I ever played this game was just so I could see the amazing environment that they created. Okay, so now that you've heard a little bit of the history of Art Deco, let's get into Art Deco decor ideas. The first item is this Starburst gold mirror, and there are many different ones, but they all look kind of the same. I also did find some of these at the 99 cent store in a smaller style, but can't really beat it for 99 cents. The next item is this beautiful lamp. You've got the shapes in there, and it also looks futuristic. I also found a standing version as well, but there are many different options online if you want to look this up. Another one is this cute set from Anthropology. You've got two trinket dishes or the mirror, and Anthropology actually has a lot of different beautiful sets like this that I feel fit the Art Deco aesthetic really, really well. These ones are on the more cheaper side, but they do have much more expensive items that do fit the aesthetic, but I mean, it's up to you if you want to spend the money. Here are some finds that I got from Amazon, and these are so cute for the bathroom. You see all the different shapes in the crystal, and you also have that nice gold accent. The next one is the folding divider, and this is something that I noticed in some 1920s films. These do run a bit more expensive, you could probably thrift one, just make sure that you were looking out for those geometrical shapes, those lines, and you could go for florals too. The next item is actually called a bridal feather bouquet, and I found this on Amazon, but I thought it would be a really cool thing to either display in a flower vase or even put on your wall. Next are scalloped chairs in velvet. 
velvet was so popular during this time in this nice scalloped pattern. You cannot go wrong because it was very prevalent during this era. The next item is these palm tree candle holders. I thought they were so cute. And because we are going for symmetry here, I thought that these would be the perfect little decor item to complement a centerpiece on a table or place on your fireplace mantle. Next is pampas grass, and I think this is such a wonderful thing to display because it looks like feathers without being feathers. It's not an overbearing color, and because you can get them very tall, it's a really good way to create an asymmetrical space when you have big furniture items around. Next is a candelabra. Pretty simple. You can thrift one, but I would say go with a gold accent. Next is a hand fan. They have these on Amazon, but you can also find these at thrift stores too. And this is such a cute thing to display or even nail to your wall. You can get them in feathers, lace, or other materials. Here's a lamp that I found from Anthropology. I told you they have so many great Art Deco themed items, but it is on the more expensive side, but it has those horizontal lines. It's also a banker's lamp, so it looks vintage. And I just felt this was so fitting. Next, we have something that's a little bit cheaper and it's crystal storage containers. These are relatively easy to find at the thrift store though, so I definitely recommend looking there first. Next is a bar cart. Of course, I went with a gold accent. I went with rounded edges. I found this one where you can actually see the circle from afar, which is pretty cool. And of course, another round one just for options. Next, we have plant holders, and really the only thing to look out for is the design and shape of the item, so that way it fits the theme, and here are some ones that I found. Next is this beautiful peacock lamp. I'm sure there are others out there like this, but because of the whole feather thing being a theme, I felt a peacock was a really good animal to have on display and have be a lamp too. Next is a gold mirror tray table, and you can get this in a circle. You could get this as a octagon shape, or you could get an ornate detailed one. I feel that they all work. It just depends what you are going for. Now for something a bit more practical that's pretty easy to thrift, and that is a hat rack or a coat rack. Next, we've got a classic whiskey decanter with those vertical lines, a perfect ball on top, and I mean, I don't know what else to say. It is just perfect. I also found this other one that is very pretty, a little more luxurious looking, like you were at a super nice hotel. I don't know why I compare everything to a nice hotel, but I just did. I then found a wine decanter. I thought this piece was so unique and fitting because it looks like an art piece. So not only can you drink from it and use it, you can also display it. Next is a palm tree because this is a common house plant that you would see during this time and it could be fake, it could be real. You could also get a small one as well. You don't have to go all out and do a giant one like this. Or another one you could consider as a pothos. I really love these because you could hang them in your window. They bring so much color into a space and they grow very easily with very little maintenance. Next is a simple tea set. These are actual tea sets that I found from the 1920s, just so you have a little bit of a visual of what to look for when sourcing one. A velvet stool. I think this is so cute, especially if you have a vanity or if you just want to put this in your living room and the tassels are an absolute must because it adds this luxurious touch to something very simple. Next is a bed bench. I went for something that was velvet, something that had really unique shapes to it. And one of them is actually from the 1920s. So I'm showing you some new age examples along with traditional examples. Next, we've got some vases. You can use these to display flowers or you could just use them as the decoration themselves. Here I am showing you lots of different options, lots of different shapes that you can look for when you are out shopping and trying to find an item that is similar. Next, we have rugs. This is the easiest way to make a room feel complete and unique by getting a really cool rug. So when you're looking for a rug, you wanna go for something that has those zigzags, octagons, those round edges, ovals. But of course you have to be very mindful of the color you're getting and make sure it's not going to clash with other items you currently have in your space. Next are throw pillows. And I decided to go with the very classic design that you would see that is Art Deco instead of the traditional 
tassels, a luxurious pillow, just because if you have a room and you're trying to make it feel a certain way, adding a throw pillow can do that without doing too much else to the room. When it came to artwork, people were very prevalent, so I thought that sculptures of people would be such a beautiful addition to an Art Deco space. Some of these sculptures are from the 1920s, and some of them aren't, but I just wanted to show you an array of examples. Next is this beautiful, iconic person holding a ball lamp. <laughs> That's what we're gonna call it. I don't know why this is so commonly seen. I tried looking it up. I couldn't find any history behind this, but if you know, let me know. I think it's so cool and unique, and when it comes to Art Deco, they just really made the most common items look like an art piece. Next is a perfume bottle, a crystal perfume bottle, and I don't really think the shapes on this matters too, too much, but you could look for something similar to these. Next is a gold mirror. I found some pieces that had geometric shapes, symmetrical, so I think those are good things to look for. And of course you could do some peel and stick wallpaper or just normal wallpaper. There are such beautiful designs. You have the nice fan pattern, which is very well known within this time period. And it also does so much for a room. Another one is a vintage item and that's a fan. And yeah, you might look at it and be like, that doesn't fit in my space. But if you really did decide to go full 1920s, this would be so epic to have in your room. Next is this round gold accent table. I see these everywhere, department stores, online. They are relatively cheap, and I think it's simplified enough that you can put it in pretty much any space, and it's not going to be a distraction from other decor. Another item I felt was fitting for some weird reason is a gold leopard. I thought of a draft too, but we just went with leopard because why not? And if you are going to get some decor items like this, make sure you buy two so you can keep it symmetrical. Next are high ball glasses. I love these. I actually got some for my kitchen and I love them so much. I feel very fancy drinking out of these and the design is perfect for the Art Deco era. And of course, you can't forget about martini glasses because you're gonna have a bar cart, so you need these fancy glasses so your friends can come over and drink with you. And for the ones that I found, I'm really focusing on the design, but of course you could go with something colored as well, just to add a little more diversity within your glassware section. Here's some more little decor items that I found that I thought were so cool looking and they don't take up too much space and they aren't too expensive. Another item is of course your duvet cover. There are so many duvet covers to choose from, but of course I had to go with velvet since that was prevalent during this era and I went with the classic fan pattern. Next are these round accent pillows, specifically these ones though, because the way that they are sewn looks so lavish and I think they look incredibly great in any room. Next is a gramophone. Not only does it add music to your home, but it also looks so incredibly cool to display. And this is one of those unique items that not everyone's going to have. Next is a 1920s alarm clock. This is actually what they look like. They have this single bell on top, which is super cute, but you could go with something a little more up to day like this. It still has an Art Deco vibe, but it's not technically vintage. Next is this window accent, and the whole point of this is just to give you privacy and make it look like stained glass, but of course you wanna go with something that still has those straight lines or some geometric shapes. Of course, we had to add in some artwork. Here are some different artworks that I found that are from this era that you could consider putting in your home, but you can also look up some print packs as well on Etsy, Amazon, and other websites if you're unsure of what exactly to get. Next are chandeliers, and I feel like there are two different ways you can go with this. You could go with a more embellished chandelier like this that has intricate designs in it, and they definitely have a theme. Or you could go with something a little bit more vintage looking like this, which is from the 1920s. Next, we have wall sconce lights. These are so, so pretty and simple with those vertical lines, keeping the theme going here, and of course, gold embellishments. 
I think the theme here is unique. Anything that looks like it could be an art piece that's not usable is what you're going for. So these lights to me looked like that. It's something so unique that you wouldn't normally see, but it's usable. And lastly, we have this zigzag art deco wall sconce light. Just in the lights alone, you can see how the lights varied in design, but they are still art deco. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this gave you some ideas when it comes to decorating your home or if you just wanted to learn a little bit about the Art Deco interior design. I'll also be doing a deep dive into 1920s Art Deco as well. So if you want to stick around for that in a future video, it's going to be posted. Anyways, I guess that's it. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one.